Welcome to another Minecraft video. Today I am back with some more progress on my Wordle project. And yeah, I've rearranged the room, put all the different systems together, and right now, for the most part, it's working. There are still a few more things that I need uh, to test out and make sure that they are working correctly. But so far, overall, we can uh, put in our guesses, we can have them checked, and everything is returned in the correct barrel. I still need to get a counter in for the amount of guesses, hook that up to the reset system, maybe clean up some other things like the um, maintenance room where you can actually set your own uh, words and just clear out the sorters and everything. But overall, this is going pretty well. So yeah, let's take a look around here. This thing has grown quite a bit more than I expected. I mean, I knew that these uh, modules weren't really small, but the stuff that, has, uh, that had to be added around them, geez. I mean, okay, the whole water stream stuff is always gonna be uh, quite space intensive, but just a few of the other things down below here. Like, there's a lot going on. Really, I thought that somewhere around this level would be the lowest part of the machine, but it's gotten a few more layers down and a bit further out and all of that, but this is all for good reasons. And one of those is likely that I just don't know how to make this more compact. It could likely be a bit more um, on the smaller end, but yeah, I just try to get this done. Basically, what all the new stuff here is doing is allowing communication between the system down below, which um, takes in the correctly guessed letters, which are in the right position, and then just uh, puts in a few filler items if there are gaps in the word, just so that you can get them in uh, the right order again, once they are returned. And it allows this system to communicate with the uh, one in the back here, which is an item sorter for checking if any of the letters that you put into your guess are actually part of the um, uh, word that you are searching for. The reason for this is that basically the system allows for words that have multiple of the same letter, like this one over here, bluff. And I'll show you guys at this um, example why I need this stuff. So let's get going and actually so show a few rounds. I put the one that I'm searching for up here now. So we are looking for the word craft. And the first one, ignore that please. Um, since I said that you can put uh, that you can input guess over here, the first input is of course going to be guess. Sadly, that's really not um, in the word at all, so this is gonna come back with only wrong letters. Gonna take a moment, but shouldn't be too long. We can have a look behind here, and where they are coming back. So yeah. D U E double S just went right through and didn't come back the way um, you wanted to. So my next guess would be bluff, and as I already mentioned, bluff has the second to last letter the same as in the actual word, but it also contains a second F, and I need to make sure that um, while one of the Fs is going to go down below here because that's uh, correctly guessed. The second one would be going in here, and of course I do have um, I do have one sorter set up to search for the letter F, and if that would go through there, I would basically get one F as a correct, uh, correctly guessed letter in the fourth space, and the other one as one that should also be somewhere in the word, and that's of course not the case here. So. Uh, when the correctly guessed letters come down here, they now have the option to, or the survey, yeah, it's now possible for them to communicate back up here that uh, one of the item sorters needs to be uh, locked up. And since I always know that um, this one is going to be in a certain position in this system, and the um, sorter for the F um, letter is going to be in a certain position over here, I can then link the two together and have um, the stuff from down below lock the respective sorter up there. The one thing that was a bit tricky here was that um, 
this system is actually reversed from this one. Basically, you start uh, with uh, first letter over here, then second, third, fourth, and lastly the fifth over here. And with this one, it's the other way around, so you start on the right with the first letter and then go further in this direction. So first up, I needed to kind of just bridge over all the stuff and get the order set up. And the rest is just um, going up here with a signal length of 15. So it needs to be at the right uh, output down there in order for anything to arrive here. And yeah, right now it's working pretty well. I tried out this exact um, thing earlier and it didn't work correctly. So I still need to do a bit more testing, make sure that the items up here only arrive in this system when the um, um, items down below are in place and make sure that those stay in place before any of those items leave again. But let's check how this is gonna go. We should get one light over here now. Just like that. And we should get the um, F back in this space. And everything else I think would be over here in the wrong letters because I don't really have any other letters set up. Four of those right there and the rest should be coming in wherever soon. You could actually see that it's kind of filling up here for a moment. And yeah, those are light gray glass panes just blocking off the um, uh, spaces that I don't want anything to be in. I actually got an idea just now that um, would maybe require a rework over here, but it could be done and help um, facilitate a bit more functionality to the entire system. But that's for further down the line. Right now I'm just happy with what we have here. Basically I could go with um, double chests instead of the barrels here and then uh, put a Put a set of hoppers down below here on the back side so I can empty them out automatically once the round is over. So everything could be automatically automatically returned to the chest that contains all the letters. Just a bit of um, clean up that doesn't need to be done by any player. But yeah, that doesn't really work with um, the setup as it is right now. First up, it would get rid of the green stained glass over here, which I kind of like as a little touch. So. The double chest would definitely not have, have anything like this and also down below here there's already a set of hoppers and this is going to return the placeholder items. I might set this up in the future so that it has um, just a minecart going back and forth, maybe a hopper minecart or something, that should be enough. But right now in order for everything to work I basically have um, hoppers all set up like this. We have the different items right here and it's just always a plus with a few um, space bars uh, to the left and right. And also a wooden shovel in the last part because I really just need that to be filled up. But I could maybe get rid of some uh, required resources if I just rework this a tiny bit. But gonna have to see about that. I'm not always the biggest fan of minecarts, but in this case it should be alright. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's how I have everything set up right here. We can also now, um, if I click correctly, we should be able to set up for the right word. I could also jumble it up and get only the um, um, get everything in the yellow chest. So it would be from the right word, but it would be in the wrong order. But yeah, it's correct. So we get the jingle at the end and all the letters should be coming up again here. And I'm gonna quickly replace um, the F from here. Just gonna get rid of it before everything else comes in. Shouldn't be able to mess anything up. But I don't want to risk it. And yeah, this is how the entire thing is going to be returned, so that's pretty cool that it's working now. That has been a nightmare setting up with all the timings and everything. It might be a bit on the slow side right now, but uh, then again, it didn't really take too long in my opinion. And yeah, from this point on, the round would be over and I would need to press the reset button. Again, it only does the lamps here, so it's not really too much of an issue. 
And I think I now have a few duplicates of uh, letters, so I don't really need those. Let's get rid of them. And yeah, besides all of this, the last thing that I want to show you guys today is how to switch out the words. This is something that I still am working on. I kind of want to make it a bit more fail safe and uh, secure, but overall, this thing is working brilliantly right now, as long as you do the steps in the right order. So first up, maintenance mode on or off. We want the maintenance mode on, and this is really just um, blocking off some of the water streams. So now there's a barrier in here, and we get all the hoppers unlocked. So instead of bringing the items up to the surface, we bring them down here. And this is where we get a copy of all the letters in here. And apparently some other stuff as well. I may have at some point accidentally left this open if I, I just shouldn't have. Anyways, we got the maintenance mode on, so everything that should be output will be put into this barrel instead. And now we just want to clear the program word. We get another victory chime here. And the letter should be arriving here pretty soon. We get five on top and then also five at the bottom. Coming in in the right order. And yeah, that's now everything uh, emptied out. Can just pick up the letters again. And now the next big thing would be inputting a new word and I mean there is this whole path here. So this brings me up to the different item sorters which are now empty apart from the uh, blocker items. So um, the thing that actually needs to be filtered for can now be input manually and uh, further down the line we can do the same for these uh, hoppers as well. However, of course, we are not going to do that because that would be boring. And with how I set everything up, it's very easy doing this automatically, or at least semi-automatically. All that we need to do now is enter the new word three times in this um, chest over here. And it's a um, trap chest, so it's uh, sure that it's only gonna send out the stuff once we close it. So if I want to go for a new um, word and I currently am drawing a blank, maybe I'm gonna go with close. Or you know what, let's call it blank. Yeah, that should be working. I'll just put all the letters in here, how I find them. Just like that. Just blank, blank, blank. Close the chest and everything is gonna be distributed automatically. And we should also get uh, one of the copies back over here. There are some stuff happening in the background and things should be coming through in a moment if they didn't already. Ah, there they are. Now they are in here and yeah, those are being randomized all the time. So all I need to do now is flip the maintenance mode off and that's gonna be it. That's the entire switchover system. So what really works is that we have a hopper line right here. And it basically just goes into the regular input only after the um, official input hopper for actually playing the rounds. And with how the entire system works is that it checks this hopper right here and after a certain time after we, um, the, the last item has left this hopper oops should maybe close that gap here do i need that uh, don't think so might as well get rid of it that was risky <laughs> anyways after um, the last item has left this hopper. No, many, no matter how many items have been going through this one, as soon as it's empty again, it's gonna send out a pulse and with the correct timing, once the last five items are in these hoppers, it's gonna activate the, or it's gonna unlock the sorter here. And since there's nothing in here, it's just gonna take the letters that are in there. And yeah, that would also be working if I went with bluff again. So these two would be um, 
uh, two separate uh, item sorters with F in them. And something similar happens on this side, however this is going to be permanently open at this stage. So basically what happens is the first item goes into here, just falls into the whole thing. Second item, gonna go in the second hopper, third item in the third one, fourth in the fourth one, fifth in the fifth. And yeah, uh, then there's gonna be an additional copy going through because again I've done this three times. And yeah, these are going to stack now, which is going to fill up the entire thing and lock it. But since it also has the whole thing where it uh, self unlock ag unlocks again, it's just gonna do that. That's gonna help me if I have a few words with uh, multiple of the same letters, because the second of the same letter, like the second F in bluff, wouldn't be going into the um, last hopper, but instead it would be filling up the second to last one. So I need another um, set of letters with the um, same uh, in order to fill up the last one as well. I also just realized that there's a potential problem with the system and how I should really fill it up would be... Um, let me show you guys. Just, let's do another round through here. Uh, let's turn on maintenance mode. Clear the... Um, Give the stuff out and I'm also gonna get rid of a few uh, glass panes here. I don't really need them. They should be all coming in in a moment. And that's it. And I'm gonna go with puppy now because that has a lot of the same letters. So I think what I really need to do in order to keep the order correct uh, would be, um, let's see, uh, we have a P here, what I should really do is something like this. Just putting the first one um, as a double stack, just to make sure that it arrives in the correct order in the second system. And also of course we need to wire at the end. So this is what it should look like, and this should be working correctly now. So um, the ones on top are going to just go through the first system and into the second one. The ones at the bottom are going to um, set the word in the first sorter. And this is now going to go into the second sorter, fill up the first base, fill up the second, third, fourth, and fifth. But since I want to see how it works if I do it like this, let's... Um, See, I think this is gonna be messed up and therefore it wouldn't work correctly in the end. So it's now gonna go through and I think the sort in the end, it should spell puppy if I look through this, but I don't think it will. It's gonna wait for the reset. P, U, P, Y, P, yeah. So with multiple uh, letters, it's just gonna fill up the first one and then go to whatever letter is next because the second version of the letter is gonna stick to the first one. So this is actually the, um, the third of the um, first... Uh, this is the third P of the first um, puppy in there. So yeah, if I do this differently, the same way I just showed you with um, double stacking the first line and then going for the second, it should be working out correctly. Let's check if that's really the case here. Just gonna wait for the items to come back here. And the one thing I really want to change here is that I would like to make it so that I need to have a certain amount of items in here for um, this um, thing to work. Because right now, if I was to uh, use it a second time, I would start depleting the um, blocker sticks out of the uh, sorters. That's also why I have a path here, so if I ever do that, and that's really just a mess up on my part, I would have an easier time putting everything back where it needs to go. But ideally, I don't want it to um, come to that. I could maybe also put down a few signs here, just uh, commenting on how many items that should be in each uh, hopper to begin with. 
But yeah, let's now see if I can set this up correctly with the change that I just came up with. Thankfully, technically, I also need to only find three letters in here, so that's actually quite a bit faster than a regular five-letter word where everything is different. Also, the reason why this is a problem is that if the orders of the letters is incorrect here, then anything that you sort through this entire thing here, if you have um, partially correct words, you're gonna block off the wrong letter and it's just gonna be a mess. But we now have P U P P Y here, as it should be. So yeah, that worked out perfectly fine. The entire thing would be set up to go again, apart from me, as per usual, just forgetting the maintenance mode. But yeah, this is now set up to um, go with the word puppy and yeah, another thing I need to do is that every time I press the um, uh, clear program word uh, button over here, I also need to reset the, um, uh, the lights on top. So that's something that I hopefully remember at some point. Maybe I just set up a signal through the maintenance mode so that once the maintenance mode is turned off, it always gets a reset. After all, it's really a separate reset and you cannot accidentally toggle any of the lamps on. If I just press the button again, since this is not a T flip-flop but a regular flip-flop, it's gonna do nothing. It needs a different input. Which is also sadly what it's getting through the whole reset thing to begin with, but I don't think there's a solution to that. It kinda needs to do that whole thing. Unless, um, no, certainly not. But yeah, that's the system so far. Let's get rid of the um, letters up here because they are not even correct anymore. And yeah, there are a few more bells and whistles that I could add to the system, making it a bit more complicated, but overall, I'm really happy what, with what I have here right now. Just resetting the word over and over and knowing that it's about as convenient as it can be, it's a huge uh, step in the right direction. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video and thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about the entire thing and see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed, have a good one and bye bye.